Okay, you have been using macOS for years and you think you know pretty much everything about macOS? How about creating an invisible icon in a dock? I mean, it has a purpose, it's not just for fun. My name is Arthur and in this video I'm going to share with you 15 amazing tips and tricks as well as some hidden features for macOS. Using these rather unknown features can significantly enhance the productivity, user experience and convenience, making your daily interactions with your Mac even more efficient and enjoyable. Without further ado, let's get started. Thanks to this built-in AI feature, you can read and analyze text on your Mac even faster. Select a large portion of text and click on the app name. Choose Services – Summarize. The Summarize feature will automatically shorten your text and keep only the key information. Thanks to this hidden feature, you can save your time and read only the essential information. If the Summarize option is not available on your Mac, go to Services services settings, text and activate the summarize option. Bonus tip, if you are too lazy to read even the summarized text, just select your text portion and right click on it, choose speech, start speaking and your Mac will turn the selected text into spoken audio. The foundation of a typical Indian meal is a cereal cooked in a plain fashion and complemented with flavorful savory dishes. 476. The cooked cereal could be steamed rice, chapati, a thin unleavened bread made from wheat flour. Not a lot of Mac users know about this useful feature, but many apps automatically save all previous versions of documents. At any time, you can browse through your old versions and restore a previous version if something goes wrong. On your Mac, open the document, for example Pages, then choose File, Revert to, Browse all versions. Your Mac will open a sort of time machine window for that specific document. From here, you'll be able to find all previous versions of your document and restore it to the previous version. This feature is a true lifesaver. Just by changing window minimizing animation, you can instantly speed up your Mac computer and make it feel more reactive. To do that, go to System Settings, Desktop and Dock and simply change the Jenny effect to Scale effect. And check it out, my MacBook started loading apps a bit faster. You're winning maybe a fraction of a second, but it makes a huge difference in everyday usage. Just try it. macOS, despite being a closed operating system, still offers you a lot of customization options. You can actually change any default folder icon to your own. It's super easy to do. First, download a PNG icon for your custom folder. Then, click Get Info on the folder icon you want to change and simply drag and drop your custom icon on the folder icon in the Get Info window. Bonus tip, in macOS, you can save your most popular web links as icons and open them like apps right from your dock. First, save the website link on your Mac just by dragging it from your favorites. Then, download a PNG icon for your website. In my case, it's YouTube. Right-click on your web link file and select Get Info. Drag and drop your custom PNG icon to the Get Info window to make it look like an app. Finally, just move it to your dock. And voila, you just created a sort of mini web app. In case you lose your Mac computer and someone will try to identify the owner, the lock screen message will appear with your email and phone number. This will increase your chances to get back your expensive computer. To set up your custom lock screen message, go to System Settings, Lock Screen, check the option Show Message When Locked. Click on Set and write your message. For example, something like, if you found this computer, please return it to its legal owner and get a reward. Add your email and phone number. Now, every time you or someone else goes through the lock screen process, your custom message will appear informing the person 
to whom this MacBook belongs. In case you are lucky, an honest person can contact you and give back your computer. The Quick Actions menu allows you to merge several PDF files in one or create PDF file from several images, convert images or even remove the background. Just select your file and right-click on it. Select the Quick Actions menu. You will see different options depending on the file format, like rotate, markup, create PDF, convert image or remove background. This feature is a huge time saver. You should definitely check it out. Hot Corners is a great feature that allows you to quickly launch some actions just by moving your cursor in one of the four corners of your screen. To activate it, go to Settings, Desktop and Dock, scroll down and click on Hot Corners. Each corner can execute one of the actions like opening the launchpad, launching a screensaver, locking the screen or putting display to sleep. But hold on, don't simply assign an action to Hot Corners because otherwise the action will be triggered every time you place the cursor in one of the four corners. When adding the action to one of the hot corners, press and hold the shift button and save the combination. Now your hot corners actions will be activated only while holding the shift button. Spotlight is not just a simple search engine on your Mac, it also hides some pretty unusual features. For example, you can perform calculations right in the Spotlight search. Just tap Command Space and access the Spotlight. Write down your equation and you will get a result right in the Spotlight search. There is no longer a need to open the calculator app. You can also convert currencies. Just type your request, for example, dollars into euros and Spotlight will show you the exact conversion rate. Spotlight can also convert measures, for example kilograms to pounds or miles in kilometers. But that's not all, you can even track flights. Just type the flight number, for example AF14 and track your flight without any third-party applications. Additionally, you can check the weather in any city of your choice. Just type in Spotlight, weather in and add the name of your city. But that's not all. Spotlight can provide you with a definition of a word. Just type your unknown word and hit on keyboard Command D. It will open the dictionary. Another cool but kinda hidden feature in Safari is called the Compact View. Open Safari, click on Safari name, go to Settings, then go to the Tabs window. Select Compact Layout. Now your tabs will take less space on the screen and you will have more space for websites. Bonus tip, you can customize your Safari background to make it look less boring. Open Safari and click on the homepage settings icon at the bottom of the screen. Select your background image. You can choose one of the default images or select your own picture. Now it's time for my favorite trick on macOS. Open the terminal app and type this command. You can find it in the description of this video, you can simply copy paste it. This command will create an invisible icon in your dock. When you click on this transparent icon, nothing will happen. It's literally an invisible icon that does nothing. It simply creates an empty space in your dock. You can use it to create separate spaces and sort your apps by topic. If you no longer need the invisible icon, simply right-click on it and remove it from the dock. Talking about the dock, you can hide the dock on your Mac using a simple keyboard shortcut, Command Option D. To unhide it, use the same keyboard combination, Command Option D. By the way, I made a separate video about the macOS keyboard shortcuts. Check it out if you're interested. When you need to quickly access emoji when typing text on your Mac, simply press on your keyboard Function E and the full emoji catalog will pop up. But that's not all. 
click on the character viewer icon and access even more special characters like different arrows and bullet points or even math symbols. Talking about special symbols, press and hold the option key and type one of the letters on your keyboard. You will start typing special characters. Even if macOS is considered one of the most stable operating systems in the world, sometimes you can still experience some weird bugs or freezes. If your Mac is unresponsive, you can open the Force Quit menu, hit the keyboard combination Option Command Escape, and you will access the Force Quit window. Here you can select the unresponsive app and force macOS to close it. macOS hides one unusual feature and it's called background sounds. Background sounds can help you to focus better or even fall asleep. To access background sounds, go to System Settings, Accessibility, Audio and turn on background sounds. Choose the sound that helps you to focus, relax or even fall asleep. I like the sound of rain, it helps me to concentrate while working on my Mac. If your desktop looks like a mess, you can easily organize it in just two clicks and make it look much better. Right-click on an empty space on your desktop and choose Use Stacks. Now all files and documents are intelligently sorted by type and topic. To go back to a normal messy view, right-click on a desktop and uncheck Use Stacks. Guys, that's all for today. If you found this video useful, check out my other videos as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time.